What's up, Smashers? It's Trevor. Guess who we got? Hey, it's Katie Hogan. We got Katie back. I'm gonna get out of the way so I'm not being a camera hog. And uh, we're gonna be going over some mobility stuff. Katie came in with some really, uh, really cool stuff. She's got uh, a stuck scapula. She's got some shoulder issues. So we're just gonna beat the snot out of her left side and get it working the way it's supposed to. Um, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna free up that scapula. So think about this. When we're getting our shoulder overhead, and don't laugh at me if I'm using this shoulder because it's my gimpy wing. Don't make fun of me. I'll come to your house, I swear. Katie will make you. She just told me she did Kokoro. If you guys don't know what that is, look it up. It is awful, but it's badass. She gets a fist bump for that because seriously, it's pretty sick. Look it up, Mark Devine. So when you bring your arm all the way overhead and notice I'm not overhead, I'm just on my side, but if you were all the way overhead, that scapula has to move around because remember the scapula is the shoulder, the shoulder is the scapula. Right, Katie? Right. Yeah, see, so she knows this stuff. So if all those muscles that are glued to that scapula don't let it slide around on the rib cage, two things happen. One, they hurt, and two, shoulder function, goes right down the toilet. So we don't want that. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open up the chest cavity and free up that scapula. So what I'm gonna have Katie do is she's, you can see here, we got a foam roller. So she's gonna fulcrum over the foam roller and I got a sandbag back there. It's like a 700 pound sandbag. <laughs> so she's gonna move down this way just a little bit. I'll move the roller for you if you want. And what we're doing is the foam roller is gonna be just, I'm gonna have you, I'm gonna pick up, have you pick up just a bit. There we go. Foam roller is gonna be just at the base of the scapula and she's locking out her arms. She picks up her butt just until she gets in position and then she drops it down and sinks down. And if you look, she's got really actually really great freaking mobility. I'm glad I'm not doing this. It's so much better that she's doing this. And notice what she's doing with her head. She's chucking it all the way through because that's the position we're in when we finish a rep. Otherwise the judges go, no rep! And they yell at you just like that. The music's so loud, so they have to. You guys didn't think I was that loud, did you? So you hold this position for how long? Yeah, two minutes. Katie just said it. It was her voice, not mine. You hang out like that. You can always move the roller up and down a little bit, but this is how you're going to open up that thoracic cavity because what happens is those Emma Lieber in this position, the, uh, the thoracic spine, it's like uh, shaped like Danny DeVito, right? It's like short, fat, doesn't move very well. So they're wedge shaped and they kind of get jammed in there. This is peeling that anterior longitudinal ligament away so you can open up that chest and then the scapula gets dragged up into that uh, overhead position. So it rotates up on either side Let's those shoulders move. You can see how she's moving around. These crazy lats, this is awesome. It's kind of depressing for a guy like me. That's awesome. So she's gonna stay like this. Make sure the sandbag is really, really heavy. Sorry, Katie. Because yeah, it'll good. anchor you down. Otherwise, you're gonna wind up picking it up. I know I did one like this with a ball before, but that's a little different. This is a sandbag. So she's gonna come off this. That's number one. Number two is, yeah, she's like, that was horrible. We got the lat, the teres, and the subscap and the serratus anterior, they all run down through here and they will keep you from getting into this position. We all know what this is, front rack, right? So front rack is really bad. A lot of times it's not the shoulder itself, it's all the tissue that sticks to the shoulder. So we're gonna unglue all that because it's gonna help her scapula move a lot better. So she's gonna take a band. Now this is a really light band. We figured this out when we were kind of going through this before. So she's gonna take this, wind up. I'm gonna pick up, you got it? Go ahead. Now she's gonna take the, uh, I'll poke my head in here. I got a shiny head on camera. That's terrible. Yeah, I, don't, I need one of Burdick's headbands. That's what I need. And she's gonna let it wind all the way up. And she's on the foam roll here. So my big fat thumb in the way. Sorry, that flesh tone thing is my thumb. So she's winding up and it's dragging her arm all the way into that overhead position. And then she's just gonna grind away on this, and yeah, you see that face? I'm just gonna block it right there. I can't, there we go. My coordination sucks. Good. So just, she's got, she got Trevor's hand I'm for a, a good face. Actress. I'll fake it. She's awesome. It's just, <laughs> see, she's like, this is great. I love it. So she's gonna smash away on that. That's gonna hit that serratus anterior underneath. Those are the uh, superhero, superheroine muscles, right? Superhero right here. And uh, she's also peeling away that lat, that teres, and part of that subscap. And it's a pretty uncomfortable position, but it's all attached to that scapula and to the humerus. And I'll get in here. The humerus, because all the, I see her, she's like, oh my God, this is wonderful. It's like going to Cabo. Um, all that stuff's gonna glue down that shoulder. So that's number two. Number three, that was almost the uh, piece kind of sign. Number three is, we're gonna take a lacrosse ball. Now, Katie's gonna show her back to me for a second. So I can show you where it's gonna go. So, you got the scapula here. It's so good working like this because she's got all these crazy muscles here. You're gonna take this and you're gonna go, so the spine runs right down the center. You're gonna go just off to one side. There's this pocket of meat right here. She's gonna take this hand and she's gonna bring it all the way across here. So you can see her hands over here and I'll show you when, when she's laying down what we're doing. But you're gonna run this, the uh, lacrosse ball all the way up and down here, taking that rhomboid, that subscap, 
um, all this stuff back here, the serratus anterior superior, all this stuff, and you're just gonna peel it right off the rib cage and free up the scapula. You're gonna find a lot of hot spots under there. So I'm warning you right now, don't blame me. Don't send me a bunch of messages saying it hurts because I'm telling you right now already it's gonna hurt. So I'm and gonna this tuck like this. totally exposes it. That's yeah. usually tucked under there, right? right. Yeah. yeah, so that's exactly what she said is that you need to get that scapula the heck out of the way. So spot. she's, she's like, did I find a good spot right no, away? Yeah, but I just mean, can they see? Oh yeah, so we look here. I'm gonna have to do this with my good hand. There we go. So you can see where Katie is. She's got the ball tucked in. I'll get right down close. Ball tucked in right in there. It's right on the side of the, uh, of the inside of the scapula. And then all she's gonna do is what? Raise and lower. Isn't that just horrible? And I can just leave my head resting on the ground. Yep, totally. So she's gonna do that. And then the next thing she's gonna do is she's gonna pop her arm straight out to the side, all the way out. And then she's gonna swing it all the way overhead. Okay. And this way too. No, no, you're fine. You can do all of it. And that's pretty so miserable. Back and forth here. Yeah, that's pretty Absolutely miserable. It's miserable. You see, she's being honest, oh. but it is freaking miserable. Kind of like snow angel. Yeah, whatever. yeah, a really painful snow angel. It's that's what we're gonna call these. Crunchy back there. Yeah. By see? the way, it's a bubble yeah. pack snow angel. Excruciating. Let's see, this is and this is the uh, real time with Quite Katie lovely. Hogan. We did not experience this before the recording. No, this is all uh, like authentic. This is real. This is. I'll tell you one thing about Katie Hogan. She's freaking real as it gets. This Badass athlete. Hey. Listen, we got Katie Hogan, Trevor Smashworks. I'm throwing we up in my mouth. Jesus is great, isn't it? We just crushed another mobility video. Hey, I'll see you guys tomorrow.